So here I'm going to be, I'm going to be cantering on my left lead. And so I want to feel, if I'm cantering, I'm going to go, I'm cantering, cantering, cantering. I'm going to exaggerate this swing. And I'm going to go left shoulder back, left shoulder back and give a little bit on the inside rein. So when I, you know, I want to be able to like pick the horse up from my inside calf and stimulate those abdominal muscles so he raises the back and rounds his neck so I have access to the whole bridge of his top line. And what this, you know, when I have this big giant pelvis, my shoulders are not just up on top moving my shoulders around. Because I'm one unit and I'm one, cabinetry of my torso. When I go left shoulder back, left shoulder back, it goes right down into my left seat bone. And that's what he feels in his back. So I'm in a way kind of massaging his back and changing the pressure of my seat bones on his back to make him go softer and you know in more self carriage and rounder in the top line. So that's the first one I do. That's the lightest one. So we'll call that like step one. And then if that doesn't work and the horse is still kind of pulling and whatever, then I go one notch stronger. So I'm cantering, 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 and I'm gonna go left shoulder back, right shoulder back, left shoulder back, cantering, 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 left shoulder back, right shoulder back, left shoulder back. And I wanna again change up this pressure, and I don't wanna get all like googly and all mushy, but it really is this feeling of I want my seat bones to kind of break up this brace that's happening. Okay, so that's step two. And then if I'm like, oh, I'm just, he's really stubborn. He's really, you know, there's a lot of years of brace living in this horse and he doesn't know what the heck I'm talking about. You want to feel you can go, you're cantering, 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 cantering. Left shoulder back, left shoulder back, right shoulder back, right shoulder back, left shoulder back, left shoulder back. Okay, because that's going to be even a little bit louder than the first two. And so hopefully you're going to kind of break up this big block that's happening under your seat. What's important afterwards is to be able to soften and drive with that inside leg because you want the horse to sort of carry himself and his bend and his balance on his inside hock. Okay, so now we'll get into some action and we will show you in in the flesh good boy kitty i always need to thank pam liddell for this amazing horse because she bred him and owns him and supports us and she's a wonderful student and a wonderful lady and giddy's everyone's favorite <laughs>